1974, Asbury Park still managed to come to life on Friday and Saturday nights. Down by the boardwalk, Kingsley and Ocean Avenue formed a sort of racetrack oval that locals called the circuit. That summer, I bought my first set of wheels for $2,000. It was a 57 Chevy with dual four-barrel carbs, a hearst on the floor, and orange flames spread across the hood. I was living in a small house in West Long Branch, New Jersey, up the coast from Asbury. One day I was playing my guitar on the edge of the bed, working on some song ideas, and the words Born to Run came to me. At first I thought it was the name of a movie or something I'd seen on a car spinning around the circuit. I liked the phrase because it suggested a cinematic drama that I thought would work with the music that I'd been hearing in my head. <laughs> Wonder Run was released in August of 1975. It was the first record that really changed my life and the lives of my friends and bandmates. On this record were the beginnings of the characters whose lives I'd trace in my work for the next three decades. Adjust your headset, fasten your safety belt. Yeah, just a second, folks. I got to tune up. Clear that bell there, Clarence. Sounds lousy. Sounds stiff like a board. You gotta have the reverb. If they gate, don't be late. Meet you at the gate, so don't wait. All right, are we ready? Oh, where's Max? That was very good. That was so good, I broke a string. Oh, the bass drum pedal broke. <laughs> Number 10, you shall not take it again. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right, let's see, what's the best way uh, to get where we want to go? Well. Softer past the summer, me and Terry became friends, trying to feign to breathe the fire we were born in. Catching rides to the outskirts, time between our teeth, sleeping in that old abandoned beach house, getting wasted in the heat and It's got that feeling of that, so that one endless summer night. That's what the record, the whole record feels like. It could all be taking place in the course of one evening in all these different locations, you know? All these different stories on one sort of long summer night. We were in there every day trying to make the greatest of the great records. We wanted it to be something that uh, people would never forget. Born to Run is just a, a great rock record because well, it's kind of the myth of rock and roll is included in the, in the record. The real myth of it. The classic ideals of what you think rock and roll are. Deliverance, music will deliver you, music will have the power to change you just believing in a larger sense of yourself. Born to Run itself can be looked at partly as a story of, of people struggling to grow up, to be independent, to, to find out what that means, find out what, what, what life really means. The, the record was looking very outward in that sense, which, and I guess it was the beginning of my life where I was sort of doing that. There was that sense of, you know, of, of a journey beginning and having some place to go, but I don't know where that is yet. <laughs> the interesting thing about Bruce was that he, he always had a, a clear idea of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to do it. And 
in one way or another, and that's really all he's ever been about. When he plays his songs, it was like every note, every little beat, everything was his, and he it was all thought out. You, know, you can just tell his heart's pouring into it, you know, his soul's in it. See, the great thing about Bruce is he um, always had a, a, an undying direction, regardless of what was going on around him. He just had his songs and his instrument and a couple of friends. He just was so committed and so dedicated. He just wouldn't stop, and he wasn't going to stop. I think when you're a young artist, you're always wondering how, oh, I, I have this desire, I have this thing inside me, and I want to take it out there. But how do I take it out there? That's always a big question, especially when you're young. We were seeking that spotlight out. You know, we were trying to do something that would be noticed. You know, people would talk about and think about. That's what I felt inside of me, and it was what I wanted to communicate. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of ambition. <laughs> He had a vision of where this was going to go and what he wanted to have happen with it. You know, he wanted to be heard. Teardrops on the city, bed scooter searching for his groove. So that was me, was a teardrops on the city. Seems like the whole world's walking pretty, but you can't find the room to move. That's right. He goes. Everybody better move over, that's all. That's our plan. Cause I'm running on the bedside with my back to the wall. 10th Avenue freeze out. I have no idea what that means to this day. <laughs> but it's important. <laughs> but, uh, 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 stranded in the jungle trying to take in all the heat they were giving. Yeah, the night is dark and the sidewalk's bright and lined with the light of the living. Uh, from a tenement window to a transistor blast, turn around the corner, things got real quiet real fast. I walked into a 10th Avenue freeze out. And the important part, well I'm all alone. I'm all alone. I, I'm on my own. I'm on my own, I'm on my own, and I can't go home until the next verse. Cause the change was made uptown, and the big man joined the band. That's the whole thing right there. <laughs> you know, I'm all alone, I'm on my own, I'm struggling through this world <laughs> until the last verse. Change was made up town, a big man joined the band. From the cold side to the city, all the little pretties raise their hands. Testifying time, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm gonna sit back right easy and laugh when Scooter and the big man bust the city in half with the 10th Avenue freeze out. That was our plan. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen has been hailed by critics as the best thing yet to happen in the 70s. His second album confirms that belief. John Landau said, I saw a rock and roll future and its name is Bruce Springsteen. He made me feel like I was hearing music for the very first time. His first album is titled Greetings from Asbury Park and the second is The Wild, The Innocent and The E Street Shuffle. Bruce Springsteen on Columbia Records.